NBA champion and Harry Carpenter. The second round of this flyweight final. And uh, this very interesting youngster, only 17, the youngest man in the championship, smothered in badges, wearing the red trunks over on the far side. Boxing off uh, in the orthodox style, Paul Ingle from Scarborough, and facing here a much more experienced man, although he's only 21, John Armour, the southpaw from the St Mary's Club in Chatham. Interesting opening round with uh, the younger man, Ingle, uh, attacking hard all the way, and Armour with superior experience, standing his ground, and uh, letting a lot of the punches slip around behind him and occasionally countering very well, particularly with the left hand. Pushing up under the ropes. John Armour in the black trunks, boxing south four, leading with his right. Stopped his Welsh champion opponent, Sean Reese, in the semi finals two weeks ago in the final round. He's simply too strong for him and too experienced. And young Ingle, the 17 year old from Scarborough was also an inside the distance winner when his Scottish rival Neil Armstrong had to drop out of the second round with a cut. But uh, Ingle at that time was well on top. Stop, stop. Box. Watch the heads. always uh, promised to be a good contest between the 17 year old and the more experienced man from Chatham and it's still very much in the balance These two have been going hard now for almost two rounds. Of the two, armor looks a little fresher at this point. So we've had two very close runs so far. This is Ingle, the 17-year-old Yorkshire boy, who has been the surprise discovery of the season. So we come to the last three minutes <coughs> of this flyweight final here at the Albert Hall. In the red trunks, orthodox boxer, 17-year-old Paul Ingle from Scarborough and his southpaw opponent from Chatham, John Armour, who's been trying since 1986 to reach an ABA final. Done it at last. Can he go away with the title? It's very close. Ingle having a bit of trouble with the head guard. First time head guards have been compulsory in these national championships which have returned to the Royal Albert Hall for the first time since 1945 smear of blood at the nose of uh, John Armour and this could very well all depend on who finishes the stronger here Young Ingle in the red trunks has done a tremendous amount of work. Armour has kept his cool and he's still looking to plant the accurate counters. Ingle very much troubled now by a loosening head guard which is dropping over his eyes.
a lot of these ingle punches are landing on the arms of armor not on the target area tremendous scrap and ingled out in trouble with the head guard and in trouble on the ropes his gun shield was half out of his mouth and he has to take a standing count the first of this contest so armor gets on top in the closing minutes armor's nose looking worse by the minute we're in the last minute Ingle's done so much work and uh, hasn't taken the strength out of armor. Referee just cleaning up John Armour's nose. He's won five Southern Counties titles since 1986. Silver medal winner in two international tournaments last year. Good record. Ingle holding the Northern Counties champion. Ingle's very, very tired now. And Ingle now is getting a public warning for the holding, and that might well be the thing that will put it beyond all doubt. They'll certainly lose a mark for that. And Armour is trying to make a big finish. counter punches from the right hand going into Ingle's face as the bell came to end that very good final Rob that was a good final a hard one all the way very good fight Harry um, I was pleased with the way that Armour uh, adjusted himself to the fight and he was always the more dominant and the man that was taking control of the fight and the man that seemed to, to have the better conditioning Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. By a unanimous decision, the judges, the winner and 1990 ABA flyweight champion is Armour. John Armour, the boy from Chatham who's tried for so many years to win this title, has done it at last. The new flyweight champion succeeding John Lyon, who won this title and the light flyweight title so many times. The new champion is John Armour and a brave runner-up there, 17-year-old Paul Ingle, whose time surely will.